Marino's role in the Splatoon 3 side or DLC has been largely speculated upon by fans. The most popular theory is that she will be involved as a villain. This is based on a few factors. These include her mysterious absence from the side or gameplay trailer, her past history as an Octarian combat engineer showcased in the chat room session of Octo Expansion, and very specific dialogue spoken in Splatoon 2. Despite all of this, Marina's true motives and intentions are still up in the air. However, I may have an idea as to what they truly are. During the Chaos vs. Order Splatfest, dialogue pertaining to Team Order's victory was discovered and reveals that had they won, she would have shaped the world in her image by having acceptance for others be implemented. Furthermore, in the Chicken vs. Egg Splatfest, she randomly mentions how life is nothing more than a matrix and how free will is non-existent. Lastly, in the chat log session 7, she describes if society will accept her for who she is and how Octarian society kept her as a prisoner. At the time, these pieces of info didn't mean much, but now based on what's been revealed, it all makes sense. The DLC will largely focus on Marina's attempt to create a perfect world where acceptance is ideal through a matrix simulator in order to maintain control. However, she goes rogue and takes things way too far as a result of AI corruption, trapping opposers in the spire of order for testing and brainwashing. 